Many of us love the idea of being surrounded by art, and we know that collecting it can be a lucrative investment. But before you freak out thinking that means forking over tons of cash on a Banksy or a Van Gogh, relax. Hattie D. Jamal has ways to build an art collection on a budget. There are so many different types of art. Art makes you feel such wonderful things, but people feel really afraid to get into the art world. And we believe that art is for everyone. You don't have to be a millionaire to start an art collection. We spoke with art expert and gallery owner, Liz Legit, to learn how to build our art collection on a budget. And you gotta start small. Smaller pieces are just more affordable. They're easier on your wallet. But if you have a large wall, over time, you can buy several small works as it fits in with your budget. And then you create a large gallery wall. So it takes up the same amount of space visually, you can find unique pieces from artists on Etsy, Instagram, or you can buy it on websites. Like we ship probably 70 to 80% of the work that we sell here at the gallery. Then also maybe it's when you travel and you're walking along the Seine and you see the Eiffel Tower and there's somebody on the street that's selling little paintings of the Eiffel Tower. And it's always going to remind you of that perfect moment when you were in Paris. Next, ask about payment plans artists and galleries work with a variety of different types of payment plans. We work with a company that helps us divide artwork into 10 payments, no interest. It's called Art Money. Liz says down payments can range from 10 to 50%, but when you're working with galleries and artists, just ask the question. Do it with kindness. It's not rude. People really understand that budgets really vary. Her final tip, buy prints. What that can mean is that an artist has created a photo or a scan of an original work of art, and then they have printed it multiple times on a really good paper that they have then signed and numbered. So it's one of 100 or one of 50 or one of 10. It should never be more than 100 because there's too many out there and then it floods the market and then you'll never get the value back if you ever need to sell the piece or want to sell the piece or anything like that. We're building an art collection we love that's easy on the wallet thanks to these tips.